good y'all welcome to my channel manifesting with karmic psycho my name is shakayla and here on my channel i discuss manifesting the life that you deserve to have spirituality in general and of course my journey through ascension if you are new to my channel welcome back and thank you for joining me and if you are part of the spiritual family Ooh, big hearts go out to you. Thank you for consistently coming back and watching my content. And let me know in the comments if this resonated with you, okay? Life path three, what's good? I hope that this message meets you well. In the year of 2022, what you'll need to work on and what is specifically blocking you from not only abundance, but being in alignment with your purpose is self-sabotage. Now, I can relate to this as a five, you know, we carry that three energy and, you know, you guys want to have a very joyous, happy life and you also are very positive, but there is a such thing as toxic positivity, life path three. You can't positive positivity if your way out of trauma, um, you can't just. It takes more than just thoughts. It takes more than just words. It's going to take action. And the action is just simply to stop self-sabotaging yourself. You can be happy right now if you release the things out of your life that are making you unhappy. And that's not always people. Sometimes it's our own habits, our own behaviors that were learned that are holding us back. So Life Path 3, I, I ask you, I cheer you on to look inward and find out how it is that you are self-sabotaging. You know, it could be in your romantic relationship. It could be as far as money, financial matters is concerned. But, you know, allow yourself to be happy. If there is happiness in your life and you feel it, why are you going to try and question that to the point until you make yourself unhappy, like literally miserable? You do not have to do that. Whenever I get in this state and I begin to sabotage myself or I start to kind of like try and blame it on something else, I just ask myself, like, who said that? And if nobody actually told me that, if it's not a factual thing that I can back up with logic and reasoning, that means it's all in your head. So are you literally going to listen to your brain? The thing that can't even control its thoughts to begin with. You're going to listen to your thoughts instead of what your heart is telling you. Allow yourself to be happy life path three. I am going to pull one of these Moonology cards. This is going to give you a specific house or sign that you want to look into work on and see what area of your life specifically is oh all right so we got the full moon in gemini okay you want to look into your chart life path three and find where you have gemini and if you don't have gemini in your chart only if you don't then you want to look at where gemini is which house is Gemini ruled by? And that is when you want to look into that house. That specific house is exactly where you are self-sabotaging your life, okay? This card says, the answers you need are coming, okay? Now, Gemini energy is like very much almost a twin flame. Um, and... If you know anything about the twin flame journey, once you get into a certain part of it, once you have healed deep enough and reconnected with yourself, you almost kind of realize that the journey was about you the whole time. It wasn't about being with another person. It wasn't about doing healing so that you could be with them. It was just only about you becoming a better version of yourself and getting connected with your higher self so that you can walk in that energy. And I feel like this full moon in Gemini is really saying life path three to look within for the answers. You wanna make sure that you're meditating more and just giving yourself the space to listen to your body. What do you need? And just also being patient, okay? 
sometimes the answers are withheld from us. Sometimes we feel confused or like we don't know what's coming next. And that is to our benefit. It's not to hurt us. It's because what you need to be focused on is what's going on right now. Don't focus on anything that you can't control or anything that you don't know what's happening later on. Redirect your energy into right now. What can you do right now to get you into alignment with your purpose? What can you do right now to stop that self-sabotage? I hope that this message was great for you. And if you would like a more extensive reading, you can book with me for a life path reading on fullmoonbeauties.com. And as always, join me on Mondays for meditation class at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And you can sign up for that on my website as well. I'm wishing you nothing but peace and blessings. See you in my next video. Peace.